Hey everybody, my name's Queso, and I like to 3D print. If you haven't been here before, welcome. And if you're returning, thanks for coming back. So with the holiday season, I have noticed a lot of people online asking what are the best 3D printers they could get their students, their kids, beginners uh, for 3D printing. Something that's not going to be too complicated or too hard to learn. Um, and I'd just like to take some time and talk about these A1s and Bamboo Lab printers just in general and how easy they are and some features that you could get with them. So the first thing I'd like to talk about is the price point for these A1 printers. So for the A1, just by itself, no AMS system, it's going to be $299. $299 is a great price, uh, period, for a 3D printer, especially for something like the Bamboo Labs A1. And we'll get into some specs here in a second. With AMS, it's about $499, so $500. So if you want that multicolored uh, system and that filament usage and you want to make multicolored prints, then go with the $499 option. Um, you can't go wrong with it. It's helpful, uh, but not, definitely not needed if you don't want it. If you're looking to get the A1 Mini, the A1 Mini is going to be $199 for just the printer, which is phenomenal price. Um, that's about the same price as an Ender 3. Uh, Ender 3 is about $180. Um, you can get them cheaper on a good day, but typically 180. But for the A1 Mini, it being $200, just 199, that is a great price because you're essentially getting the same machine here, but just a smaller build plate. All right, my first reason I would get the A1 or the A1 Mini is because it's so easy to set up. Literally, when I was setting this up, it takes about 15 to 30 minutes. You take off this panel, these two components. This one, this part right here, and the base, they come separate, but it takes, I think, eight screws to combine them together, and it guides you through it, and it's even clearly labeled on the printer where you're gonna put those screws and how many. Okay, and then once you get that done, it's pretty much assembled. So on Christmas Day, if you're giving this gift to your kid or somebody else you know, um, it's not gonna take you all day to set up the 3D printer and get prints going. You're gonna be able to crank out prints on this within 30 minutes of you setting it up and probably opening it. After the setup, there is about a 15 minute calibration, but you don't have to do anything for that. You just click start and it will start calibrating the printer. Um, it might start making some crazy noises, but I promise you that is normal and it is fine. Just follow the prompts from the printer and you'll be just golden. Next thing I kind of want to talk about is the reliability of the 3D printer itself. So from my experience with these printers, the Bamboo Lab series, from my X1 all the way down to my A1 Mini, I have noticed they have high quality parts that you're not going to have to replace every two seconds. Maintenance on the printer itself is pretty minimal. I do clean the Z rods and I clean the, the linear rails, um, but the printer itself is going to prompt you. And it's gonna, it has sensors on it. It's going to tell you, hey, check this out, fix this, and just make sure you follow those. But it's it's almost foolproof. This has become this is like a huge step in 3D printing that the printer is telling you, hey, this might be wrong. Check it out real quick. And if it is wrong, then just you, it's an easy fix. So maintenance is very very easy, and these printers out of the box are pretty reliable. And not just out of the box. I've had my X1 for about a year and a half now, and my A1 Mini for about six months. I've had these for two, and they've been going pretty consistently. Um, they, they maintain and they stay like on task, like they, they work really well, um, down the road, not just out of the box. Another thing I like about the Bamboo Labs printers from my X1 all the way down to these A1s is you get consistent prints no matter what. So here's a D20 that I printed and you guys can see, let's see if we can find an imperfection. All right, right there on the six and the seven, you can kind of find those imperfections. Okay, so let's find that imperfection on this more upscaled one. Six and seven, okay, right there. Right here, you can see it. Okay, let's find it again on this larger one. Yep, there it is. So, this isn't a printer issue, this is a G-code issue, but what I'm trying to point out is, regardless of that, you are getting consistency with your 3D prints, um, regardless of what you are doing with your printer, okay? The printer is just going to print and work. Um, very little input is needed from you. No more messing with these level knobs on an Ender 3 or any Creality printer. 
this just it, it works I don't know how to, it goes through self leveling every single time it honestly with bamboo labs printers um, I've gone I, I I've been 3d printing since 2018 and I've gone from like every time I'd start a print I would have to tinker with it a little bit make sure it's level make sure it's good to go when I have my bamboos now I just click start and as long as I did everything right and when I say everything right there's not that much you can kind of mess it up um, if I do my part right the printer will work um, and I wasn't finding that with my Creality like my Ender 5 Plus I'd have to level constantly um, I would have to spray the bed with hairspray more often than I do these machines um, these machines are just super reliable um, and you can't go wrong with them. So let's get into features that I like. So one of the very first features that I like with these A1s uh, and A1 Mini specifically is I like the that they're so quiet. Um, they do have active noise canceling. You can turn off the sounds uh, it, if you have a washing machine and when the washing machines don't, the cycle will make like a, a chime. These printers do the same thing. You can turn that off though. But um, these printers are relatively silent. I mean, I can make them go quieter than what they are now. I'm not going to because that will also reduce speed. Um, but these are silent. Uh, they're in my classroom and I do have them going most of the time as I'm teaching. Um, and that should just kind of be a testament to how quiet they are is because I don't, they don't disturb my students or anything like that. So very, very quiet, I would recommend. One knock on the Bamboo Lab printers that a lot of people say is the build plate is small. Uh, while I agree, yeah, the build plate is not as large as like an Elegoo Neptune, uh, not Neptune, Orange Giga. Um, they're, they're decent size. They're good enough for about 80% of what you're going to make. Um, and I mean, honestly, I've made, I made this battle droid on this build volume. Okay, this is six foot four battle droid. Okay, I had to learn some other skills like fusing stuff together, but it, it they, the prints come out great. Okay, so I got all of that with a build volume of this size. So you can do 80% of what you want to do in one shot. The other 20% you can do, you're just going to have to pick, pick up some additional skills. Like, let's, let's see if I can show you right here. Okay. Um, kind of hiding that area, joining those two parts together. Um, this right here was two separate parts, okay? You had the upper and the lower. Um, you can't really tell, but that's a skill that you pick up when you're making 3D prints. Um, and you can do all of that and that big model, 6.4, on these printers. All right, let's talk about AMS. So the AMS gives you the opportunity to use four different colors if you want to. Um, if you are looking into Bamboo Labs printers, one thing you are going to see is that people will say, um, you know, they, they waste a lot. I don't think they waste a lot. Um, depends on how you slice it, but you can have workarounds. Just if you get the AMS, check out the slicing option, options, make sure you're not wasting it. Um, but I like making multicolor prints. I also like the feature that if filament runs out, I can have it go to another filament without any input for me. It will just automatically switch. So I can start a print, have it run out, and it will switch to another spool or another filament. Um, and so you can pretty much say bye bye to like, we all have those spools that have a little bit of filament left on it that we're not gonna throw away but we don't ever use. Um, you can throw all those on a printer and you can just use all the tail ends of that filament spool. Okay, this one's a nice quality of life. Um, I didn't have this before, but ever since I've had it, it is super nice to have. Wi-Fi connectivity on 3D printers. I can send a file over the Wi-Fi to my printer and not worrying about these memory cards right here anymore. Okay, so if you have a printer and you're using the memory cards try and give one of these a go um, it's so nice to be able to send your files over the Wi-Fi just straight to your printer and the last thing I like to talk about and this is actually one of the things I launched my YouTube channel on was just time lapses the a1 is capable of taking time-lapse videos the camera is right by that light um, the a1 cameras they film in about 720p whereas the X1C that I have films in 1080p then it's, it is 
not as noticeable as you would think, but it's still noticeable. Um, but at the price point, I mean, two ninety nine compared to fifteen hundred or twelve hundred, depending on the combo or the printer itself. So twelve hundred for the X one C versus four ninety nine for the A one. Um, you know, you, you kind of expect that to not have as good as camera. And I honestly have not had too big of an issue with the cameras. They take great time lapses. It's really not too big of a deal. All right, so if you got some good information from my constant ramblings and you found some value from this video, like and subscribe. That would really help me build my channel. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by December 31st, so like New Year's Eve. That's my goal. I've had it for the year. Help me reach that. If you have any comments, any other questions you'd like to ask about the A1s or the A1 Mini or the X1Cs, um, ask me. I have all of the Bamboo Lab printers. They're great, um, and I love them. So if you have any questions about the Bamboo Lab printers, ask away. Any other printers, I also have more printers than just the Bamboo Labs. Ask me questions. But as far as my recommendations for 3D printers this holiday season for beginners, or just anybody in general, if you're looking for a good solid 3D printer that won't break the bank, go with the Bamboo Labs A1 or A1 Mini. Thanks for watching. I'm Queso Builds.